my dear Matinic learners. It's me again, Mamich. Welcome back to another video lesson in Mathematics 6. This lesson is for week 6 of the first quarter, which is about dividing decimals. Part 2. Dividing decimals by 10, 100, 1000, 1 tenth, 100, and 1000. Melt based. Learning goals. Divides decimals up to two decimal places by 10, 100, and 1000 mentally. Divides decimals up to four decimal places by 1 tenth, 100, and 1000 mentally. To divide decimal mentally by 10, 100, or 1,000. Number 1. Count the number of zeros in 10, 100, and 1,000. Number 2. Move the decimal point to the left based on the number of zeros. When necessary, annex zeros in order to have the correct number of decimal places. Dividing decimals by 10. 100, 1,000 mentally. When we say mentally, ibig sabihin, ang ituturo ko sa lesson na ito ay shortcut para hindi na tayo mag-solve using long division method. Example, 624 and 3 tenths divided by 10. Step 1. Count the number of zeros in 10, 100, and 1,000. Our divisor is 10. So, bilangin natin ang 0. We have 1. Step 2. Move the decimal point to the left based on the number of zeros. When necessary, annex zeros in order to have the correct number of decimal places. Since isa lang ang 0 natin, mag-move tayo ng decimal point 1 place to the left. So, dito, ilista natin ang mga digits na 6, 2, 4, and 3. Then, insert decimal point between 2 and 4. The quotient is 62 and 43 hundreds. Next, 624 and 3 tenths. So, isa lang gamitin nating dividend para makita natin ang difference or pagkakaiba nila. Step 1. Bilangin natin ang number of zero sa 100. We have 1 and 2. Therefore, mag-move din tayo 2 places to the left sa ating dividend. 1 and 2. Then, copy 6, 2, 4, and 3. Insert decimal point. The quotient is 6 and 243 thousands. Next, 624 and 3 tenths divided by 1,000. Bilangin natin ang 0 sa 1,000. We have 1, 2, and 3. So, dito sa dividend, mag-move din tayo 3 places to the left. 1, 2, and 3. Then, copy 6, 2, 4, and 3. Insert decimal point before 6 and insert 0 as placeholder. The quotient is 6,243 More examples. 5 and 4 tenths divided by 10. Step 1. Count the number of zeros in 10, 100, or 1,000. So, 1. We have one zero. Then, step two, move the decimal point to the left based on the number of zeros. When necessary, annex zeros in order to have the correct number of decimal places. So, let's move one place to the left. Copy five and four. Insert decimal point. Then, insert zero as placeholder. The quotient is... 54 hundreds. 5 and 4 tenths divided by 100. Count the zero in 100. We have 1 and 2. 
then move two places to the left sa ating dividend. 1 and 2. Since meron tayong empty place value, maglalagay tayo ng 0. So, 0, 5, and 4. Insert decimal point and 0 as placeholder. The quotient is 54 thousandths. 5 and 4 tenths divided by 1,000. Let's count the number of zero sa ating 1,000. 1, 2, and 3. Therefore, mag-move tayo 3 places to the left sa ating dividend. 1, 2, and 3. So, meron tayong dalawang empty place value. So, maglalagay tayo ng dalawang zero. 0, 0, 5, and 4. Insert decimal point before 0 and 0 as placeholder. The quotient is 54, 10 thousands. Next, to divide decimal mentally by 1 tenth, 100, and 1,000, Step 1, count the number of decimal places in the tenth, hundred, or thousand. Step 2, move the decimal point to the right based on the number of decimal places. When necessary, annex zeros in order to have the correct number of decimal places. Dividing decimals by one-tenth, one-hundred, one-thousand mentally. So, ganun din po sa nauna, mentally meaning shortcut. One and nine-tenth or one and nine-tenths Divided by 1 tenth. Count the number of decimal places in the tenth, hundred, or thousand. So after the decimal point, mag-count tayo 1. Isa lang po ang decimal place sa ating 1 tenth. Step 2, move the decimal point to the right based on the number of decimal places. When necessary, annex zeros in order to have the correct number of decimal places. So, mag-move tayo ng one place to the right. Kopyahin ang 19. Wala na po tayong ilalagay na decimal point kasi whole number po ang 19. The quotient is 19. Next, 1 and 9 tenths divided by 1 hundredths. Let's count. We have 1 and 2. So, mag-move din tayo 2 places to the right sa ating dividend. 1 and 2. Then, mag-insert tayo ng 0 doon sa empty place value. Kaya, ang sagot natin ay 190. Cool number. No need to add decimal point. Next. 1 and 9 tenths divided by 1,000. So, magka-count tayo ng number of decimal places. We have 1, 2, and 3. Meaning, mag-move tayo ng 3 places to the right sa ating dividend. 1, 2, and 3. Then, mag-insert tayo ng dalawang zero sa empty decimal place value. 1,900 is our quotient. More examples. 132 thousands divided by one-tenth. Step 1, count the number of decimal places in the tenth, hundred, or thousand. So, sa one-tenth, meron tayong... 1 decimal place. Step 2, move the decimal point to the right based on the number of decimal places. When necessary, annex zeros in order to have the correct number of decimal places. Since meron tayong 1 decimal place sa ating divisor, mag-move lang tayo ng 1 place to the right sa ating dividend. Copy 1, 3, and 2. Insert decimal point between 1 and 3. The quotient is 1 and 32 hundreds. 
132,000 divided by 100. Count the decimal places sa ating divisor. We have 1 and 2. Meaning, magmove lang tayo ng 2 decimal places sa ating dividend. We have 1 and 2. Okay? Copy 1, 3, and 2. Then insert decimal point between 3 and 2. The quotient is 13 and 2 tenths. Last one, 132,000 divided by 1,000. I-count natin ang number of decimal places sa ating divisor. We have 1, 2, and 3. Meaning, mag-move lang tayo ng 3 decimal places sa ating dividend. 1, 2, and 3. So, to the right then. Copy 1, 3, and 2. Okay, no need to write or insert decimal point kasi ang sagot natin ay whole number. The quotient is 132.